G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my end of month wrap up. So I will be using another 1K slip. So if you're not sure what these are, these are prop notes. This is gonna, this is gonna be used to represent what is sitting in the bank dedicated to that particular envelope. Um, I use these, they're great for, you know, condensing the envelope so you don't have that much cash in it as well as just for security so you don't have this much money sitting in the house and it also just gives you a sense of accomplishment when you finally reach a certain goal and you want to swap one of these out I don't know I get so excited so I'm going to pop that on the tray and we'll go straight to the envelope where I'm going to need that but I hope everyone has had a really successful January. Um, for me, it was a golden month, so that was a five pay month. Let me know if that's what happened to you as well. I think you had to be Monday or Tuesday paid to have a golden month. Any other day, you wouldn't have had a golden month. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I was managed to have one. Um, yeah, and I just hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. I love doing these videos. I find them very, very therapeutic. So here I am going to have, I need to take out $1,000. So 50, 1, 50, 2, 50, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is going to be replaced with that. And that's all we'll be doing for this uh, envelope. So house should have 41,500. So 20, 40, 41,000 now in a prop. One, two, three, four, five. So perfect. Um, so every time this is just my, what I like to do, I like to just change out a thousand dollars once I get to a thousand dollars. Some people use prop notes for everything. Some people might use a prop note uh, once they reach five hundred dollars. Um, I have them for all different uh, denominations. So yeah, whatever suits you and your way you like doing things. And this is what I like to say. No two budgets are the same. No two ways are the same. You know, you do you do it however you feel works for you. Um, I don't need to change out anything here because as you can see, it's already pretty good. Because what I'm going to do now is use this money to condense other envelopes. Here we go. So we've got... I might actually keep this as 50s because I, I don't have many hundreds, so I will keep them and use them sparingly. Um, 80 bucks there, can't do anything there. I'm just checking, that's what we're doing is going through, checking to make sure what I can change. I can't change out anything there, that's all good. So this, <laughs> this uh, binder is pretty boring. I know my savings challenges are gonna be a bit more exciting. I can't do anything here either, even though I have probably enough to do 100, but I don't have any $10 notes, so we'll keep that as is. Um, do we have enough? Here we go. Finally, <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 390, and that's correct. So at least we were able to condense two envelopes here. But this binder, I just recently took out quite a bit of money, so it was already thin. Uh, but we'll get into the savings challenges where I'll need to do more then. Here we go. So... This is the fun one, because I'll tell you, actually, no, she's getting a little thick. She's not the thickest she's been, but she's getting thick. And I think that's all thanks to, honestly, my Outlander challenge, because the Outlander challenge has just tens and fives, but I'm keeping it that way. But yeah, that's why I think she feels thick. But before I do it, I don't think I've Pepsi Cheers. So Pepsi Cheers. Comment down and let me know if January's been a successful month for you. Remember, I'm not going to be doing my total at the end of this. I am going to be doing that either quarterly or half yearly now. I just feel like that's, I want to try something different this year. And I feel track, I want to see the difference of tracking monthly versus quarterly or half yearly. I don't know. I'm just trying something different for this year. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. Let's just double check that. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And let me know. Do you guys do monthly check-ins? Do you like to do 
quarter check-ins and this is when i say check-ins i mean like counting everything you have checking to see how much you've got comparing last month to this month or last quarter to this quarter um i think that's just what i want to do so we've got 240 now all condensed in summer and maybe i'll miss the other way and i want to go back that way i don't know i'm just giving something different a go so quarter one, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. These always have smaller notes in these ones. This is why I like doing the, um, so 140, this is why I like doing the savings challenge binder for condensing because there's always so many smaller little notes in here. And then after doing this, this binder feels so thin. <laughs> 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. There we go. Cannot believe we are now in February. This year is crazy. So 145. Uh, anyone doing anything good for Valentine's Day? So... I won't be doing anything much. <laughs> I normally actually catch up with a friend of mine. I normally do my Galentine's savings challenge, actually, um, for those who just want to put some money aside for a bestie. But I just thought I didn't save for it this year because I don't know. Plus, I have so many vouchers from Christmas. So I have Endota. So that's a spa, which we might go and use together. Or I have lots of movie vouchers. We might just go to the movies. We'll do something. But that's why I didn't do a savings challenge because I have so many vouchers I've got to use this year. But I, I, I do love doing the savings challenge otherwise. So 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Let me just double check that. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. Perfect. Yeah, but if you guys um, in you know doing something nice with your partner, your you know a better half, <laughs> um, let me know. Some people plan really nice things for for Valentine's Day. They go away on trips. So two thousand in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, sixty. So seven sixty. That's so much easier to count now. This was a great idea from everyone else saying I should utilize this for my um, besties uh, milestone birthday this year and whatever I don't use obviously um, will go to other things but yeah that's a great idea so I'm trying to get this get this done <laughs> and it's not till mid year but we might even go a bit earlier so that's why i want to get this done soon um outlander is not getting exchanged but let's give it a count anyway so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 25 35 45 55 60 cool so we're plotting along there really nice cannot wait for that second part to come out already like oh all right, next up is Pepsi Cheers. Um, hmm. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. <sighs> All right, all I can do is this then. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And then what I can do is add this in and take out 100. Hopefully I didn't confuse you all just then. But essentially we have 245. So 1, 2, 20, 45. Perfect. So much thinner. Obviously we don't change out the serial bank notes, but let's count how many we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 AA bank notes. Yes. Love this. Oh, she is feeling a lot thinner now. Yes, really nice. So we've got one more binder still to go, and that is this binder. So this is my new binder, which can I do a little shout out? Nissa. <laughs> she came up with such a great name for this binder because I said, I don't know what I'm going to call this binder. Is it house prep? I don't know. And she said, what about a Caro Casa binder? <laughs> Love it. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that comment. Love, love, love. So I'm going to refer to this as Caro Casa uh, Binder, which Casa in Spanish means house, if you didn't know. So hilarious. Great suggestion, mate. Love it. Thank you. Um, plus, there were so many other great suggestions. But when I saw that, I thought, wow, ding, 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 winner. So thank you. So here we go. I'm not, um, if I need to condense, I will. I don't think I do. But what I need to do is color in. And this is why when I stuff money in this throughout the month, I don't color in. I'll color in at the end. So I get to color in one more here because they're $50 an icon and I now have two fifty, dollars So I get to color in one more. There we go. So now Household Supplies has five icons colored in. Okay, so here is a situation where I won't be coloring anything. I could color in half, but I'm not. I'm just going to color it in once I'm able to. So if I had $300 sitting in here, I'd be able to do one more icon because it's $100 an icon. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as like that because I only want to color it in once I've reached that goal. So washer, I am able to color in one more because I have 250 now and they're 50 an icon. Hopefully this is making sense and, you know, to I still get people just starting out and they're unsure and I'm trying to explain why I'm doing certain things the way I am. So here is another situation where I can't color it in because I've got 250 in here and it's 100 an icon. But when they're 50 an icon, I'm able to color in another one. So here's 250. And also for those who have just clicked on my video for the first time and wondering what this whole binder is for, this is for me when I, I'm just getting ahead on things. I don't even own a house yet. <laughs> I am saving for that. I've got my house deposit uh, fund growing in my black binder, but this is just for me to be able to get ahead when I have some spare money. This is not a main priority for a binder. I only add here when it's been like an amazing bonus income or, you know, I don't know, just on the odd amount where I get some extra money or something, I will add money here. But otherwise, I, I won't be adding any like it's not coming from my regular pay is what I'm trying to say. This is just funded when and where I can. So this is going to be a really slow burn. I'm not expecting to color in every month. Um, like for example here, this is $50 an icon and I have 210. So I'm nowhere near being able to color in another icon. And I think the rest are all going to be the same. But let me just double check because that's 50. This is 20 an icon, but I only have put in 10, so I can't color in a full one. Okay, that's 20 and 20 as well. So I can't color in any more icons from these, but I was able to color in a couple, which is great. I just wanted a place ready to go that if I come into some extra money, um, I have a place to just quickly put it without questioning it, without thinking about it without then quickly spending that money on something else that I shouldn't really be spending it on. So that's the Caro Casa binder. Thanks, Nisa. All right, so this was the money that was left out on the tray. This is $1,000. Well, it should be. We'll give it a count since I used the 1K prop note. So that is what this should be. Um, let's give it a count. I'm actually gonna pull over my calculator. I don't normally do this, but you know, from time to time, I like to change things up. So 51, 52, 53, 50. So 350, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, so 440. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 150 in 10s, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. So 60 in fives, perfect. So that's $1,000. So it is all there, which is great. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> I always stress. I always stress a little bit. There's always that stress at the end. Did I, did I, did I have it all right? <sighs> You know, <laughs> but there we go. 
there's all the money, 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 money. Yay. So another thousand's gone back to the bank. I don't know where that is, where I'm at in my tally. And you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow. And then hopefully at the quarter or the half yearly, I'm not sure yet what I've decided. Um, we can see a big jump in growth because while I was very consistent and happy seeing the thousand, two thousand growth per month, which is great. And I'm very proud of that. Um, I just want to be like, boom, an extra 10 grand has been now added to that. <laughs> you know, I want to see that kind of success. And that's why I thought this would be fun to do it this way for something different. It's just, I might revert back. I don't know. Let's just try something different. So there we go. Another month done and dusted the first of 2024. I hope it was successful for you guys too. I really hope you're having a great January. If not, there's always February. That's the great thing about starting a new month is you can start again try try differently this year this month and set different goals and you know i always say just start small don't go crazy uh just start small you're more inclined to stick with it that way you know so yeah take care happy friday and i'll see you in my next one bye for now bye